right, well, if anything's going to, uh, you know, break me out of my uh, YouTube slumber and uh, start uploading uh, videos again, I was going to do it soon, don't worry, but this obviously is incredibly, incredibly sad news, but good news at the same time. Uh, if you are living under a rock, quite literally, <laughs> you may not realize that uh, President, uh, former President Trump, um, there was just an assassination attempt on his life at his at his rally a shooter has allegedly um took a shot at him and it grazed his right ear let me get my shoes let me get my shoes so we got to go To me, this is several years of, of of falsely labeling that man as some sort of fascist dictator and whatever names y you can think of out there that that have come against him. Um, this is what it has led to, and let's not you know ignore the fact that the. Democrats, which are the USA version of liberals, basically, have been calling for violence against Trump for years. I said, no, I said, if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. I will go and take Trump out tonight. <laughs> Too many see the protests as the problem. Please show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Go to the hill today. Get up in the face of some Congress people. Running away from Donald Trump, I think you need to go back and, and punch him in the face. When they go low, we kick. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump, and that's a fact. And uh, I don't want to get into the tinfoil hat stuff at this point, but uh, who knows who is really behind this because the shooter is apparently dead. Good thing. Definitely a good thing. Karma's a bitch. The future Prime Minister, Pierre Polyev, this is what he had to say on Twitter. And while you're reading it, he released this statement on Twitter uh, before Sleepy Joe Biden even got around to saying anything about it. I just want to say my prayers are with the uh, family and uh, friends of the apparent spectator that was killed during this incident and somebody else was injured or I'm not sure the details yet on that uh, but apparently there were some innocent bystanders that were affected by this and of course uh, Donald Trump himself you know politics aside it shouldn't matter you know what I, I would be uploading a video saying the same thing if the assassination attempt was against Joe Biden okay uh, it, you, if anybody, and there are some people already going out there and, and putting posts on Twitter or X and, and Instagram and Facebook and all over social media, already almost happy about this. And, and, and they're, I don't know, these are sick and twisted human beings. Um, you know, you know my thoughts on crooked politicians and puppets like Biden and Trudeau, but I wouldn't wish this on them. I certainly wouldn't be celebrating if somebody took a shot at them. We can all joke about these things, but in, in, in reality, if it actually happened, no, I wouldn't support that. Uh, we need to we need to remove Biden. We need to re remove Trudeau. We need to get them out of office for countless reasons. Uh, but I would never I would never suggest that it's a good thing that somebody takes a shot at them and, and takes their life. Uh, no. No, I, I can't get on board with that. Anyone who is celebrating what happened today to Donald J. Trump, anybody who thinks this is a good thing and is gleefully posting about it on social media, I think you are an absolutely disgusting human being. Actually, I don't even think you qualify as a human being. I'm not going to apologize for that. I mean, I believe in the flying spaghetti monster, raw men. Um, but my prayers are with... Uh, those innocent bystanders, and I uh, hope that uh, Trump makes a full recovery. And quite frankly, I think this 
won him the election, and he is going to be the next president of the United States. So that's what you get, guys, for um, all the all the false, fake rhetoric, all the fake news, all the names, the slanders. You know, it, you you fell right into the trap, and well, this is what you're going to get. I guarantee you that this photo is going to go down in history. Wow, guys. I'll upload uh, as more becomes available, but this is pretty breaking news right now, so I just wanted to do this quick upload, and for those of you that get that little ding on your phone that says that I've uploaded a video, you might not know what's going on, here you go, and uh, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but if you think it's good news, go f*** yourself.